Last week, Surat hit the headlines as its Congress Lok Sabha candidate was disqualified, paving the way for the BJP leader to win the seat uncontested. This week, it's the turn of Indore. The Congress candidate for Indore Lok Sabha seat, Akshay Kanti Bam, has withdrawn from the race. Unlike in Surat, where the Congress candidate was disqualified, Akshay chose to withdraw his nomination himself. And he did so in the presence of BJP MLA Ramesh Mendola, a close confidant of the party's indoor strongman and state minister Kailash Vijayvargya. What's more, Akshay promptly joined the BJP. However, this story does not end here. The script of Akshay Kanti Bam's pre-poll defection had perhaps been written the day he filed his nomination as the Congress candidate from Indore. On the day of filing his nomination, Akshay faced criticism from the BJP. Why? It turns out there was a case of attempt to murder pending against him. On April 24, 2024, Akshay went to file his nomination for the election. The BJP demanded his rejection, alleging that Akshay had hidden crucial information. It claimed that Akshay had a pending criminal case for attempt to murder, which was not disclosed in his nomination papers. What's surprising is that this case dated back 17 years, but the charge of attempted murder was added on the very day of filing nominations. Indore District Collector and District Election Officer Ashish Singh rejected the BJP's demand and accepted Akshay's nomination form. The BJP candidate for Indore, Shankar Lalwani, will only have one opponent to challenge him, Sanjay Solanki of the Bahujan Samaj Party. The voting for the Indore constituency is scheduled for May 13th. Akshay's defection makes Lalwani's victory certain in Indore, a constituency that he won for the first time in 2019. Congress has failed to win indoors since 1989 when former Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan won the first of her eight consecutive victories from there. Akshay, meanwhile, has been directed by Judicial Magistrate Nidhi Nilesh Srivastava to appear in court on May 10th, just three days before Indo's voting day, for hearing in the 17-year-old case. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.